You know, the untold story of the Reformation is the women of the Reformation. We, we tend to tell the story of all the men of the Reformation, and that's because they were pastors and believe, based on the teaching of Scripture, that that is an office that is reserved for men. But we miss the idea, and we miss the fact, that women played a significant role in the Reformation. Now, the, the role many of them played, they played the role as wife. We would not have Martin Luther and what he was able to do without Katie. But there were also women who made significant contributions in their own right. And the one story that we have to tell is the story of Lady Jane Grey. She was, she was just a teenager and she had a knack for languages. She, she knew Latin and knew Greek and studied the Greek New Testament. She's writing a letter to Martin Bucer. This was the scholar that Calvin wanted to, under, to study under at Strasbourg. She writes a letter to Martin Bucer asking him what is the best way for her to go about to learn Hebrew so that she could read the Old Testament and the original Hebrew. And she's a teenager. She ends up, uh, after Edward VI's death, she ends up getting put on the throne of England. And she's called England's nine-day queen. Uh, Mary, the half-sister of Edward, the, the troops swoop into London to put her on the throne, and Lady Jane Grey is taken off the throne and put in the Tower of London. Of course, Mary, Edward's half-sister, is Catholic to the core, and she reverts that Reformation that had come to England and takes England back to Catholicism. And there, sitting in the Tower, is this young teenager, Lady Jane Grey. Mary dispatches her Bishop Feckenham and he goes and basically interrogates her. And in the process of this, she puts forth the doctrine of sola scriptura, she defends the doctrine of justification by faith alone, and Feckenham just simply leaves. He's not up to the challenge of debating her. And the, the sentence is issued and she is to be executed and this young, bold, courageous, reader of Greek and Hebrew, is led to her death. And Lady Jane Grey becomes a martyr for the faith. These are great stories, and she's not the only one. So we need to remember, it's not just the men of the Reformation, but we need to remember the women of the Reformation. And we need to make sure that that untold story gets told.